Hey guys, before we get started with the Alderman route guide, I wanted to show you how to farm dungeons or whatever else you're into farming 20% faster. It's no secret, but the swiftness of Zanza Potion gives you 20% movement speed for 2 hours, which is insane for farming quickly. To get these potions, you have to be revered with the Zandalar tribe, which requires either killing anything in the raid Zolgarub or turning in coins or bijus for rep, which come from Zolgarub trash. Here's a quick turn-in guide for reputation. Once you're revered, head over to Rinwasho the Trader in Yojamba Island, Stranglethorn Vale, and you can pick up your potions using Zandalar Honor Tokens, which come from Biju or coin turn-ins for rep. You can only hang on to one potion at a time, so I like to bring two Honor Tokens with me to pick up one potion to use right away, and then another one that I carry in my bag so I can keep farming after two hours, or get back to it later without having to revisit the aisle. Other than that, I'd recommend engineering for several tinkers and items that would help with dungeon running. Stuff like rocket boots, large Sephorium charge to open chest, cobalt frag bomb on your belt for AoE, haste or armor on your gloves, and parachute cloak are just a few things that engineering offers to help me blast through dungeons. Alright, that's enough for now, let's get to the route guide. Hey, what the f**k's up guys, poor Owl here, and today I'm going to show you my route for backdoor Alderman runs. I decided to run Alderman again because I needed some gold on this server, and I thought it might be fun to try and go for some rares. I'm currently doing 5 weeks of Alderman where I'll be doing 210 runs a week, and I'll finish at 1050 runs, and you can catch that live at twitch.tv slash poor Owl, where I'm also raising money for Owl's Nest, Sanctuary for Wildlife, so please stop by and donate 75 cents to help move the goal another percent. I don't want to waste any time, so let's get this started. Okay, the first thing we do is pull these two on the right, and then pull everything else in the room and run forward. Now go to the right, pull these two, and turn left. Body pull everything in here, and keep running forward. Pull everything in this room, and then run back to the last room if there's a chest in here. If not, you can keep running forward. If there's a chest here and it's locked, you can use a rogue to open it, a blacksmithing key, or an engineering bomb. And now you can loot. After you're done looting, you can run out of the room and go to the left. And then take another left, and then a right. Pull these guys here. And the scorpions in the pit. Now avoid everything in this room, we'll be pulling them in just a moment. Run up the stairs here. And pull this pack to the right. And now if you have rocket boots, use them here. Finish pulling everything in this room. And run down the left hallway. Now run up the stairs, open the door, and start to AoE everything down. If you have them aggroed for long enough, you'll start to get stunned, so make sure you start to AoE around here.
and now you can loot. When you're done looting, activate this altar over here. Once it's activated, you can kill the four stone keepers, turn around, and keep running. After you kill the four stone keepers, the door behind will open and you can keep running. Pull everything in this hallway here. Run down here. Open the door on the right and AOE everything down. And now you can start to loot. Activate the altar to Arcadis. And once you see him start to animate, you can pop any cooldowns that you have. I've made a targeting macro for Arcadis to make this just a little bit easier. Now towards the end of his death, I like to run towards the back to open the chest just a little bit quicker. Open the chest. And now loot Arcadis. And then run out. If you've used rocket boots when I told you earlier, you can use them again here. Now just run forward. And to the right. Run straight through here. And then to the left. And then take a right and start pulling everything in this room here. Now run back, and then to the right, and then pull all of these bats over here. And now you can AOE them down. This will be the last pack to kill for Alderman. 
and now you can just loot and you're done. Once you're done looting everything here, it's conveniently towards the end, so you can just run out and reset and run again if you want. Since I've got the Grand Tundra Mammoth, I like to vendor everything to clear my bags. But if you don't have them out, I suggest looking into the add-on D junk, and it'll delete any junk that you put on the list or vendor it when you go to a vendor. This way you can save space and just save the items that you want to keep from Alderman. Alright, that's it for now guys. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. I'll be doing 5 weeks of Alderman where I do 210 runs a week and will be releasing the loot from weeks 1 and 2 this week so make sure you're subscribed to see those videos if you're interested. I hope you've learned something from my route guide and let me know if you get anything from your farming. Thank you for watching and good luck everyone.